Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely rose balloon bouquet. Take the green 260. And inflate to a one to two finger tail. Let a little bit of air out and tie. Okay, if you need help tying, I've got a video uh, going in some detail in my beginner series on how to tie a balloon. So we want to just make a flower petal loop of about four, three to four fingers. So just twist that off and pass that neck and nozzle through. Make another loop of a similar size. And again, these are techniques that I covered in my beginners series. So if you want um, instruction that is going a little bit more slowly, then check out that series and I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so that's your flower stem. If you've got a little bit of a tip here, just squeeze some of the air in and that's going to fill that tip up for you. For each rose, you're going to need four 260s in a colour of your choice. Inflate to a tail of a couple of fingers, let a little bit of air out and just put a twist in that balloon and then inflate your next 260. Bear out and tie the two together to make a duplet and then make another one of these. Take your two duplets of two sixes and just pass them underneath, one underneath the other, okay? And you want to position the lower one so that it's just trapped. You don't want it wrapped into the top, you just want it snugly trapped in between these two balloons and then twist off the, okay the lower layer and then take the balloons from what was the upper layer bring them down and twist them together okay and then take the next pair and do the same and aim for loops bubbles of similar sizes Okay, they don't have to be exact and if you start to feel your balloon getting a little bit tight just give it a squeeze and soften everything that's going to help you later okay so we're just working our way down softening the balloons as we go show you sideways on It's up to you how many um, segments you do. The more you do, the larger your flower will be, the fewer you do, the smaller your flower will be. So it just depends what sort of size rows you want. where I'm starting to uh, run out of balloon. Just going to stretch and soften here. And get one more segment. So at this point I'm just going to snip off the ends here. them and tie those two ends together. And then I'm going to make one more segment here with what's left and then I'm going to slip off the ends of these and tie them together. So that's what you've got. 
Starting from the nozzle end here, you want to curl this top part up, okay? And you're going to need to grab hold of one of these nozzles because what you want to do, you want to curl this segment right over and pull the nozzle in here and wrap it in, okay? And it's quite tricky to show you, okay? So I'm pulling that round, I'm pulling that nozzle through, okay? Curling that over and then here, I'm taking the nozzle and I'm wrapping it around that segment there. Okay? So you curl that first part over. And then carry on curling round. And you next you're going to be working with these nozzles and doing the same thing. So you want a nice tight um, curl. So take your longest nozzle, whichever one it is, and pull it through into the next segment that makes sense. Okay, so I'm curl this one round and I'm pulling it into this segment here, wrapping that around, wrapping it through. Okay, and into the back here. And then continue curling round until you get to the bottom here and then grab hold of your tails and pull one of them underneath one of the segments. I'm going there and I'm wrapping it around and then I'm going to go back underneath this one. Okay. And then I am going to look for another tail. I've got another tail here. And I'm going to pass that tail underneath that segment there. Okay, and then I'm going to tie these two tails together. Take your flower stem and take your flower head and just using the tails, pull those tails into the top of the stem. Just to secure that flower head in position. Okay, and then you can just arrange the leaves. I make a couple more of these. Inflate a gold 260 to just a one finger tail. Let out a little bit of air and just Put a twist in that and then inflate a second gold 260, same way. And then just tie those two together. Okay. And make a loop, however large you want your bow to be and then make a, a loop to match in the other balloon. So we've made a loop out of each balloon. And then in one of your balloons, twist a bubble. Have a couple of fingers and turn that into a pinch twist. So just grab hold of that bubble, pull it upwards, twist it round, and that's going to pinch twist that bubble. Okay, I'm just going to wrap that balloon around. Okay, give everything a squeeze and make sure that the air is reasonably far down your balloon so you've got fully inflated tails or very close. Take your flower stems and the beginnings of your bow and wrap the loops from the gold 260 around the flower stems, okay? And just wrap or twist that 260 into that cluster of loops and the pinch twist, okay? And then take the other 
two sets to gold and wrap that around in the same way. Let's wrap that in. Okay. And I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm going to have a look now. If you want to square off the shape of your bow, you can do. I'm going to leave mine curved. These days I'm quite liking mine, my bows with a, a curve. I did have a spell where I used to square everything off, uh, but not so much these days. Just arrange your flowers and then you've got your rose bouquet.